warm weather clothing drive, and also the amazing creation of the White House Gingerbread House, so impressive, which was auctioned for charity. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Deb Greenwood, the CEO of the Center for Family Justice, who would like to personally thank the community for all your efforts. Please welcome Deb with a round of applause. Good morning. Thank you so much. You all look fabulous in your sweaters and your holiday wear. Um, I just want to start off with something that has gotten me through some tough days. And I want you to imagine the type of people that come through our doors, live in our safe house, and the kids that live in a shelter on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and 365 days a year that you have all helped. So I want you to imagine, and you've probably heard this poem before, so please bear with me. Called Footprints in the Sand. One night, a man had a dream. He dreamed he was walking along the beach with the Lord. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene, he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to him and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of his life flashed before him, he looked back at the footprints in the sand, and he noticed that many times along the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times in his life. And that really bothered him, and he questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I've noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, there is only one set of footprints. I don't understand why when I needed you most, you would leave me. The Lord replied, my precious, precious child, I love you and I would never leave you. During your times of trial and suffering, when you see only one set of footprints, it was then I carried you. Written by, of course, our Lord Jesus Christ. When you help someone that is at the lowest moment in their life, who's a victim of abuse, a child of abuse, they blame themselves on what happened. 98% of people living in the United States that are homeless have been identified as fleeing from an abusive situation and end up homeless until they have disclosed that that's the reason why they became homeless. And when they call our hotline and they ask for help, there's so many things they need and most of the time they only have either the clothes on their back and nothing else, not even a toothbrush. So I really wanna recognize all of you. The girls cross country team that collected all the candy for the Boo Bash, which is our Halloween party. The Raising Awareness, Abuse Awareness for Teens Club, Raft, that sponsored the lecture, collecting bins and bins of toiletries and selling their club bracelets with the funds going to the needs of our safe house. The SAD Club that sponsored a volleyball tournament and used the proceeds to buy a foosball table for the safe house. And by the way, it is getting a great workout and they love it. The National Honor Society for their scarf, hat, glove, and sock drive that provided for hundreds of clients at the center. We've actually gone through all of them already. The junior and senior girls and the pep club, the powder puff game, the proceeds that came to the Center for Family Justice. Ms. Richter and her Art National Honor Society that made the gingerbread house and was raffled off raising $8,000. Members of the school community attending the candlelight vigils, one that we had at the Nichols Improvement Center and many around our community that we serve, coming to our legislative breakfasts, meeting senators and state representatives that we need their support up at the Capitol to continue the services we provide that are free and confidential. And they were also recognized as outstanding volunteers recently on November 10th with our national founder of justice centers across the country. These school-wide events, as well as private donations from individuals and families that have used our services, have contributed over $23,000. That's incredible work. As well as the Mr. Student Body Competition, participating in the Walk a Mile in Her Shoes, held in Fairfield, downtown Green, and various 
many many other awareness events i just want you to know how much all of the clients if they could be here today and the kids say thank you and it's because of your leadership as well as the support that we have as a member of the board of directors from mrs nancy lessard as well the the gift that you give is saving lives so thank you and thank you so so much have a wonderful holiday